first of all, I think it's terrific that you are noticing a reduction in the size of the tumor. And I'm also very pleased that you're having regular monitoring. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the ultrasound tests to show you that you're doing better. See, this is one of the reasons we go to doctors, to measure how well we're doing. I mean, you want to know. If you're doing better, wow, that's great. And if you're doing worse, wow, you better know that. And if you're staying the same, you better know that too. And if it's gone, you really want to know that. And if there's something else, unfortunately, you need to know that. So really, you can't miss. By going to the doctor and using the diagnostic technology, you're going to learn about your body. And that's the whole point. Now, what you do with that information is a separate issue. So you can go to the doctor and learn a lot, use the technology, get information, and then decide what you will do with that information. You don't necessarily have to do what the doctor tells you. You might, but you definitely want to find out what the doctor has to say. And when they have the instrumentation and the expertise and the access to provide you with information, it's good to get it. And you are, and that is terrific. So good for you. Glad to hear about the progress. Very happy you're taking oral vitamin C. Eight doses of vitamin C a day is a goodly amount. I know people that take more. I know a lot of people that take less, so I'm glad you're taking that. Intravenous vitamin C, uh, up to 75 grams. Uh, as you say, you understand that this is an excellent therapy to use in and of itself, and I agree with you. At the Reardon Clinic in Wichita, Kansas, and at other places that know a lot about vitamin C therapy, I think they would tell you that the IV of vitamin C is probably the most important single thing you can add to what you are already doing, which is using supplements, diet, and oral C. And if I were in your situation, I would do the IV of vitamin C, and I would do it probably a couple of times a week possibly less, possibly more, depending on how much you get and how well you handle it. 75 grams or 75,000 milligrams is quite a blast. Some people want to start with much less, 20, 30,000 milligrams a day, and work up to it. Again, if you're comfortable, good. I think that your comment about oxygen therapy being more expensive, in fact, considerably more expensive, to me would be a flag. I don't think I would pay the money for it because I would put the money into the other things that I know more about. I don't know that much about oxygen therapy, and I can't really give you a truly informed opinion on that. But I will be honest with you and say that in the 41 years I've been looking into this, and in the 30 years I've been aware of IV vitamin C therapy, oxygen therapy has not come up very often in the materials I have seen. Whereas intravenous vitamin C for cancer comes up all the time. And the books that I've read, the papers that I've read, the doctors I've talked to, the conferences I've attended, and the experience I've gained uh, tells me that the IV vitamin C is the most important factor. If you can afford the additional therapy, I think you should do it. But if money is an object, and I had to decide between less IVC and some oxygen therapy, I would not reduce the IVC. I would go for it. Can you use the two together? Absolutely. Should you use the two together? Possibly. Must you use the two together? Definitely not. But the IVC, to me, is the one that is essential. Mm -hmm.